Hi, I'm Jeremy from ACA Pacific Technologies and uh, basically ACA Pacific is a software distribution company um, and we are based all over the region in Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore obviously, um, Indonesia and Australia um, and as part of our solution offerings we carry Chaos Group's V-Ray um, and that's what we uh, you know, deliver to our customers as a solution. Well, V-Ray is a plugin that sits on top of uh, 3D content creation platforms. Um, a lot of them are uh, Autodesk platforms, namely 3ds Max and Maya. Um, and it's a plugin that basically takes care of the rendering portion um, at the end of the content creation. So to really make your visuals look photorealistic um, and believable to your target audience, uh, that's where V-Ray sits as a plugin um, to deliver that content to your customers. Definitely, definitely. I think the barrier to entry for V-Ray is very, very simple um, and it's also a very low learning curve. So when you adopt the platform, the, the plugin to your platform, you don't have to spend months or years learning it and obviously as you use it, you will get better. But out of the box, you do have very simple templates that you can follow um, and we, we find application use not, in not only in education um, but also in design visualization, um, automotive visualization, feature films also in animation and VFX um, and so as long as you need photorealistic rendering to come out of your 3D platform um, that's where V-Ray excels in uh, and uh, that's what it delivers. Yes, V-Ray is actually known for its architectural visualization. Um, I would say 90% of all the interior design firms and architectural firms that uh, we deliver the software to and the, the plugin to uh, use V-Ray for their visualization rendering. Um, I, I think it is a mainstay and uh, would, I'd, I would say the industry standard um, for most of the architectural space. Sure, um, the Oculus Rift basically is, uh, it, it brings you into an immersive environment um, and where V-Ray again helps with that process is um, it talks to the technology uh, Oculus Rift and gives you a feedback within uh, the uh, the hardware that you're, you're visualizing through the Oculus Rift itself um, and it gives you that visual feedback and it gives you a, a level of feedback that makes it believable to the eye um, and this is where V-Ray because of the way it's being built and because of the way it delivers the visuals to you it again um, gives you a sense of believability um, and it immerses you in this environment and that's where V-Ray basically bridges the gap between what's real and what CG. Tremendous, actually. Um, the, the OpenCL is basically what it's all based upon, but uh, CUDA takes this to a very, very usable level where its uh, barrier to entry is, again, not as complex. Um, and uh, the, 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 the geekiness of the program basically is taking care of for you, um, so you don't have to delve into it if you don't want to, um, and it basically gives you that feedback very, very quickly, and it's affordable. Um, and I would say that uh, the way the NVIDIA cards are progressing, um, the affordability factor is really key uh, when adopting that kind of technology into your pipeline. Quadro and the Tesla cards, uh, for one, um, well, I haven't played with the entire range, uh, but we have played with the K3000s, the K6000s, um, the K20s, and again, the feedback has been tremendous. Um, the project that I was alluding to during our presentation, which is Construct, uh, is using a kit put together uh, with NVIDIA cards, and they use the K6000s and the K20s to get real-time feedback during the actual uh, filming process and the motion capture process. Uh, and this, again, uh, is done through the NVIDIA technology and supported with the NVIDIA technology um, and then through the V-Ray RT engine and then uh, obviously interpolated with the Motion Builder and it then gives you that visual presentation straight away.